Dreamers, how are you doing today? Listen, this is this is a little post uh, because I don't know if anyone out there is dealing with a broken heart or maybe grieving the loss of a loved one or uh, finding life a little bit challenging right now. Energetically, myself, I know I'm dealing with a few challenges regarding my heart. And I woke up this morning, actually I woke up yesterday morning, going, uh, looking at my dream decoding. I've been working with dreams for about 30 years. This is Linda Dietz, by the way, transformational entertainer. And I've been asking, you know, for support from the universe, from my friends, to, to help me through this process. And I realized I had a, a key right in my own hand with my dream decoding and a very practical use. So I started to think, if dream messages normally tell us about me or tell us about ourselves, so it's a message from me to me about me, what if I viewed my current situation as a dream? And if I did, what would the message be? How would I interpret it? So I took a little time and wrote down my dream or wrote down what was going on and then I sat back and looked at it and I looked at all the people that are involved and uh, a situation I'm dealing with and going okay if everybody in my life is just mirroring my own attitudes and my own thoughts and this person and because in in a relationship the person you're in a relationship with your significant other your spouse always represents your subconscious mind if it's the opposite sex uh, same sex represents conscious aspects. So I started looking at this and going, what's this telling me about me? What do I really need to focus on? Because it's not, it's more than just the external situation. It's where is my transformation going to occur? How am I going to transform my life and use my life experiences to actually do that? And it, I stepped back and it gave me some really neat insight uh, because I thought, okay, the disconnect that I think I'm experiencing with another person is really about an inner disconnect. And how is that reflecting? And what's the interchange? What are the actions going on? Where do I find my support in myself? What do the different people in my life represent? As far as if I stood back and go, okay, what part of me would they be? And how are they influencing my life now? And it really helped me get some clarity and perspective on the situation that I'm going through, it, it still it doesn't mean you're, you're just going to magically be different, but it does give you a different perspective and help you understand what's the deeper message here. It's not really about the other person. It's really about what's going on inside of me or what's going inside of you and that life is mirroring back to you. And using the dream symbology uh, method and working with the practical, so you can start looking at life and working at what's the message from the outside in, just like you take a nighttime dream and saying, what's that dream telling me about what's going on in my waking life? You can take your waking life view as a dream and saying, what's that telling me about my inner life and what's going on inside? So you can apply the, the interpretation process both ways. This is something I'm gonna be working with uh, in, my, in my platform, in my new course, my new membership program in Dream Decoding because uh, several people say, well, what, why would you want to interpret your dreams? This is, this is something that I woke up like, oh, oh my gosh, check this out. This is, this is just helping me so much right now get perspective and help me move through a grieving process or help me become more kind or tolerant of myself and really clue me into what do I really need to focus on to actually make a shift, to let go, to move on, to move forward so that you don't keep going around the merry-go-round on the circle of why did this happen, how come it happened again, you know, all this kind of stuff that we tend to go through in relationships. So I thought I'd share that with everybody today. Uh, this is, uh, in some ways, this feels a little risky to me, getting out here and being this uh, raw and real. Uh, but this is how I'm here to serve. I'm here to help you. Maybe something that I'm going through can help you uh, understand and uh, feel free if you want to make a comment, if you want to hear more about this, uh, uh, go to my website www.exploremindworks.com. You can jump on board. I'll help you understand your dreams. Uh, if you want to chit chat or find out more about it, I do personal consultations too. So I'm learning to be my own consultant, which is kind of exciting. And uh, 
there's been a lot of strength that's come from that. So if I can help you through this process or help you uh, make your life a little bit more understandable, uh, I'm there for you. Thanks a lot. Uh, keep writing down your dreams. And until I see you on the next time, uh, Linda Dietz here. Feel free to contact me. Thanks so much. Bye now.